Yo, what's going on guys? Today we're going to be building this uh, this mountain design here. It's something I recently came up with and figured I would do a, uh, do a little video on. And I'm going to keep this intro short, get right into it. Um, here's some of the blocks you'll need. Um, as you can see, you'll need everything, you know, quartz stairs, slabs, blocks. Um, I used some chisel quartz, diorite, and I'm using the stone brick. I'm going to be building on a stone brick for this video. Um, but as you see, I use like sandstone here, so either would really work. You know, you can switch out any of these blocks, honestly. So we're going to start out with the base and just, uh, just work our way up as we go. And yeah, let's get started. I'll try to make this as easy to follow along as possible. So starting off with the circle here, we're going to start out with a stair and two slabs on each side, coming in with another two slabs, one on the diagonal, two slabs, and we are repeating. So this is going to be, it's going to be like this all the way around, pretty much is, uh, is what I'm saying for your circle here. Start with your line of five, you go with two, one, two, then you go back with your line of five, it's just like that. So there's our half circle. Going back around two, two, one, two. Then your two, remember stare in the middle of your long side, two more. And as we're coming in, just like so. And that right there is your outer circle. As far as the inner circle goes, you take your secondary block and you just line the inside. Um, now you're not connecting the corners here. Um, so you're just literally just lining like the, uh, the very inside. That is all. I'm not really gonna do any cuts on this video or try to. Um, so you guys can see the full process. Those are still lines of five. Um, and then it's still, you know, two. We're just cutting out this middle block here, pretty much. So once you've got your outer circle with the quartz, and then your inner circle with your stone brick or whatever, then uh, I like to take some oak leaves and then line the outer circle with oak leaves. Just like so. So there is your kind of like final, I guess you could say, for your for your base there. And then we will be starting from these sides right here. Go around each side, adding a chord stair. Just like so on the sides and as far as like the sides go guys this is complete replication um so you know it, it doesn't differ at all um which is you know makes it a lot better for building so you know what we do on this side we'll always do on the other sides it'll never be different right up against that stair is an upside down stair again we just placed one stair on top of the stone brick and now putting a upside down stair behind it just like this Again, nothing complicated, just two stairs. Coming in now, we're going to be adding a stair on top of this. Uh, but what you'll want to do is place two blocks like that, and then go up against this block so the stair is facing backwards and it's upside down. So you want this end here to be flat, and then you know towards the outside of the fountain, you want the stair to look just like this. And I just do it by placing two. Coming in, again, upside down. Sorry guys, the way I have this set up, it's hard for me to use this controller. Um, so a little bit of some scuffed placements. Uh, just like that, and then add a slab right on the back of that stair. And I'm using smooth quartz, by the way. Um, you know, you can use normal quartz, or like I said, literally whatever block you like. Um, and you know, it'll work. So, after that I like to take some anvils. And I add anvils on top of these slabs here. 
you wouldn't have to do this or you could use uh, like grindstones if you're building this in survival and you don't have the iron um, but I always like to use anvils I think they always look uh, look pretty nice in the end coming in here we're going to be at this diagonal corner here we're going to skip this block and come in one and place our chiseled quartz block so again we're just skipping one coming in one and placing the chiseled Again, doing this on all sides. Then on top of that, taking two diorite walls, or you know, whatever walls are your choice, placing two right on top of them. Just like so. After that, you're going to be taking your stairs again, and you're going to place two upside down stairs on each side of this top wall here. So there should be a one wall gap in between the stair you placed and the chiseled um, that is beneath it. So again just two stairs. Going all the way around. Make sure they are upside down because you'll need that flat area up top for us to work off of. just like so all the way around. After that you're going to come on top here of those and add a stair that is just placed on top of this last stair we had earlier. Flat side should be towards the anvil here. Doing this all the way around. Just like so. After that you're taking a slab and adding it right here so it should be up against Again, there's no, no space there. Should be up against the bottom of the anvil. It's fitting it right in there in between the anvil and that stair on the lower portion of that top stair. Just like so. After that, you're going to be having a stair with, or a slab with a half slab gap. So basically just create a slab here, add one here, and then get rid of that one. So going all the way across, just like so. So you have your slab originally, a little half slab gap, and then the slab that actually stays. So the way you can do it is just like this. Any way you want. just like so all the way around after that we're actually going to want one more slab that is going to be above the anvil and there will be a gap there as well so what you want to do is add one just like this and we're actually going to make it a full block but it you know it'll still be two slabs because that's on a half slab block and then you're just going to want to replace that one there so that's what it will be like on all sides. Again, just adding this one, getting rid of this one, and remaking it a slab again. Because you know whenever you place one on top of this, it makes it a full block. So you need to come in, add your double slab there, re-break this one, and then re-add it um, just like so. And there we go. It's kind of some of the basis here of like the, uh, the base of the fountain. But let's keep going. So you're coming off the top of this slab here and you're making one full block. So just adding two slabs right on top of each other on this top portion. Going away from the fountain, of course. Making it a full block all the way around also like to grab a little button. I'm using some warped buttons. I use some warped wood throughout this build. Uh, but you know, you could use oak, dark oak, uh, you know, whatever you want, or any type of button. And you could use stone even if you wanted to. But I like to add a little bit of color uh, from now and then. Go back 
Um, and yeah, just add a little buttons to all of those. After that, I'm going to be adding a slab all the way around on top of that, or on the side of it per se. Just like so, so I added a slab right to the end of this full block on the top half of the full block. After that, you're going to want a upside down facing forwards, just like this one was. So all you do is place a block there, and then you place your uh, stair. Sorry if I said slab, like a stair, I mean. So it'll be just like this with your slab, and then your stair, which is upside down, facing forwards. And again, just place a block there. Use that block in order to have the slab just like so. And just like that, all the way around. And that's kind of the uh, that's kind of the bottom half of the of the fountain. And then we will start inlaying using our stone brick, or you know whatever you're uh, whatever you're using here. So we're coming in, and we are going to uh, reposition a little bit of this stuff so it's easier to get. Um, here's kind of our main our main stone brick items that we're going to be using. Okay, so starting in at this corner on top of your diorite wall, you're going to add one piece of full stone brick. And then you're going to want a slab coming up half a block, just like so. So you added your full block, and you added half a block, or like a slab, um, right here. So you should see a little gap right here where this uh, where this stair is. So as you can see, again we're doing all this you know on every side. It's going around doing this on each side. And there we go. And if you guys need to pause, you know, I'm going pretty slow, um, but if you guys need to pause the video, you know, feel free to pause at any time. After that, you're going one block higher. So you have your full block, the half slab, and then another half slab. And so it looks like from the outside here, I always just do this, bring it down one, I bring it over, and then delete what's on top there. So this is what it looks like right here. Just a steady incline. And this is what it looks like from the outside. Another way to do it is like this, but keep in mind if you do it like that, you will have to go back and replace that slab. Um, whichever way you like to do it, will work. Working with slabs I know can be a pain sometimes. Um, so you know just figuring out whatever works best is always uh, it's always good. Make sure you have all your access slabs removed and we will continue going up and we're still continuing with stone brick here. Coming up with a I'm going to add a block here just for a placeholder and you're adding a stone brick stair there. So get rid of the block under it. Now you should have a stone brick or whatever you're using stair that meets perfectly up with this slab as far as the bottom goes. So it should be meeting up nicely. You can just place your first block on the bottom half, place this one on the top half, and delete that block. Sorry if you guys can hear this controller. My sensitivity is messed up, so it's uh, kind of making it weird for me to use this. It's all good though. And there we go. So that is your inline of stone brick should be all connecting. These two top slabs should be connecting along with that nicely. Come in, you're going to add a upside down stair right on top of or right on the back side of that stair. Just like so, adding it just like this. Now while we're down here, let's go ahead and work on the bottom here. Now I did create a little bit of a floor over here. Um, just using some sea lanterns and stuff, um, but we won't worry about that for now. Um, you, know, you can always add something like that, and I see some diorite and some sea lanterns and whatnot. We're going to be focusing on the main, the main setup here. So you're going to come out three blocks from the middle of your most inner ring, which is your stone brick ring. So you're coming out three blocks, and then you're placing a stair, and you're doing that on all sides coming out three blocks and placing a stair and you should have a little um, three by three square in the middle after that place an upside down stair on all of these 
and then take your stone brick and run it all the way um, until it's just above this uh, this stair right here so it'll be starting from well, okay so you take the bottom one one two three four five six seven so you're running up seven and then just stop it there after that you'll add a upside down stair to the middle here And this is what your little center uh, center pillar will look like. Again, we came out three from the wall. Stair, upside down stair on the back. Came up with seven blocks. And now you have your upside down stairs on top of these stairs. After that, you're going to take your stone brick walls, um, or whatever, you know, corresponding wall, and then just go all the way up with these on all of your sides. just like so until you've reached at the top now they should be just like this is one block above your uh, your stairs that were there just like so after that you're going to want to place a full block in all of the corners using your stone brick so again this should be flush pretty much um, like right above it you should the corners should all meet up just like so after that, you're going to want to place a block here, and then you're adding your stone brick stairs on all sides, just like so. So again, you had your full blocks, and I placed a block, add the stairs all the way around it. After that, I like to take a sea lantern. You can use a goldstone, whatever you want. Then I add walls on all sides of it. After that, come back in with my stone brick and do just as we did on the bottom side on the top so I had stairs just on the tops of those walls just like I did here but right side up now I like to add a block in the middle just to close that off after that we're adding one more block on top of that just as you see here and then we're coming out with blocks on all sides just like this as you can see so we had our, our walls our stairs and then our full blocks after that, you're going to want to take your stone brick slabs and add them to the top portion of the corners. Again, not the bottom, the top portion. So you have your half slabs now on all of the corners there. After you've done that, you're going to want to take your, we're coming back with quartz now. You're going to want to take your uh, quartz stairs, smooth quartz stairs, whatever you're using, and add a smooth quartz stair on these full blocks on all sides, just like this. After that, you're going to want to add a block here and then place a stair just like this so that it is now facing the exact opposite of this one. Just like so. So you add your block, come in, place it, destroy the block, add your block, place it, destroy the block, add your block, place it. Destroy it. And then here's where I like to come in with some blackstone buttons. Again, any buttons will work. But I just like to add buttons to the outsides of all these stairs on the flat sides. Just like so. And we're going to get rid of these. And this is where we come in with some iron trap doors. I know we're using a lot of iron between the trap doors and the anvils um, but you know this is all you know this is stuff you don't have to do but I did because I think it looks really nice. So you're gonna add a block under that stair we just placed the button on and put a trap door on each side of it so that it is one just you know a smidge below the actual stair and destroy that block. So you add the block, place the trap doors, destroy the block, add it place the trap doors on it, very top half of it, and destroy the block. Just like so. And there we go, you should have these little like wings of, uh, of trap doors setting there, just like that. You could always use different trap doors. I think iron go best with the, uh, the quartz combo. After that, you're coming in with a quartz on the diagonal, and then you're going to want to place a quartz here and of course here and you won't be able to place on this so just use this and then 
bam, just like that. So what I've done is I've added a quartz slab directly on the diagonal, and then you raise up one block on each side, right next to the trap doors, and then one more block on the end. So this is what it looks like on the side. You have that one on the diagonal, you come up a block, and then you meet in the middle, and come up another block. Again, I will do it right here, placing one to the side, then you have your one on the diagonal, delete this one, use this stair to place a slab here, to place a slab here, and then you will be deleting these, but I'm going to leave this one just because you got to place one here, destroy this because it's a full block, replace it there, and destroy that, just like so. You got me? Alright, doing it here, just like so. just like so. Again, just replicating this. There's no difference on any of these sides. Just like that. And make sure you get rid of all your access blocks, that way there's nothing left. This is what your top view should look like, just like this. And then this is where we come in with some iron bars some birch fences, and I like to use end rods as well. Alright, so now we're going to come in on all of these corners and we're going to add birch, not birch, but uh, diorite walls. Add your birch fence, your, uh, sorry, your arm bars, and then you add your end rod on top. So just like so. We're doing this on all of these corner pieces, all the corner slabs. I like having the birch and then it gets a bit skinny and then it comes big again with the end rods. Um, so you can switch this up however you'd like, but I think this is what uh, what looks the best, really brings that height out of it. Um, so this is what you should have at this moment. Uh, we're still going up, but uh, yeah, should look about like this. Hopefully it does. <laughs> And we are going to continue going. After that, you're going to add one piece of stone brick here. You want to get your sea lanterns back out, and I like to use some warped trap doors. Put down the sea lantern and just encase the sides of it with the warped trap doors. Just like so. Make sure it's on the upper half so it'll attach nicely. Just like that on all sides. After that, I come back in with my stone brick stairs. Or not stairs, sorry, walls. Come in with the walls. Add a wall on top of the sea lantern with a full block. After that, place another block. Encase that block in quartz stairs completely. So you had your sea lantern, your wall, your full block, and then you have your quartz stairs on top of that. I then place quartz stairs facing inwards on top of those um, that are upside down, and then I make these that are upside down on top or on the back side of those that we just placed. So just like that, have your one, your one that's on top, and then your one here. And again, you are coming in with the same thing we did earlier with the birch and the in rods. Bam, 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 bam. Again, you can switch these up if you'd like, um, like put the wood and stuff. Uh, I mean, but I really like the uh, like the birch in the end because you could always use like uh, warped wood or whatever you'd like there. I just like to mix it up, keep the keep the colors pretty fluid, just like so. After that, I add two blocks here. And again, after we've got these little tips, I like to add two blocks, come back in with my walls. So I place two blocks, only one little bit of this one will be showing, full block will be showing here. Then I have a wall, then I have a full block, then I have another wall. So block, wall, block, wall, just like so. After that, I place another block, come around with upside down stairs on top of that block, just like so. After that, come in with a full block of quartz, which I'm just gonna use two slabs. Bam, and then I add buttons, not on the top, just on the sides here, just like that. I'd like to switch over to diorite walls, place a diorite wall, come in with another full block, and then switch up the buttons um, with just you know some different button type. 
Again, I like to use Blackstone buttons, just like so. So you should have your whatever buttons, and then your wall, and then uh, your block with um, the different type of buttons. And then after that, all you do is add two more pieces of your direct wall or whatever wall you're using. Come in with the birch fence, iron bars, and rod, and then the fountain is completed. Just like so. Obviously, can't forget the water. If you're wondering where the water is placed, you'll come here to the upper portion, right above, or right above these uh, these two these two blocks here, and you'll place it actually on top of this this wall here. So it'll actually be placed like that. It will flow out nicely. Come down the sides, go through here, and then obviously you'll go around and you'll fill up uh, the bottom there. Uh, but there you go, guys. That is the completed fountain. Uh, you know, feel free to switch up this however you like. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this. Thank you.